welcome friends today we will going to discuss about first topic that is first drug that is euphrasia in our channel homeopathy lighters so let us start our topic euphrasia and since every drug has a common name it has also one common name which is known as eyebright its family name is scrofula raci and the prover is himself dr hanman why it is known as eyebrow it is dis- uh, in the euphrasia uh, that is uh, the signature the according to grovel the signature of a black spot in the corolla corolla means our plant uh, part which is known as corolla it's uh, look like a pupil so pupil that marked as a eye medicine in the ancient time that's why this euphrasia is known as eyebright okay let's discuss our sphere of action so where it is act mainly mainly it acts upon the mucous membrane on which type of mucous membrane the mucous membrane of eye and upper respiratory tract then what is its pathogenesis how we use this medicine which type of pathological changes tissue changes or cell changes it is as catarrhal inflammation catarrhal means it uh, it relates to the cold type means cold type of inflammation those inflammation which occurs in our cold uh, season that is mainly in our head, head inflammation can be occur or maybe in our mucous membrane of our nose and the upper respiratory tract which we discussed before so it leads to acrid lacrimation and a blunt coryza so what is acrid lacrimation acrid lacrimation means there is a very offensive smell of lacrimation whereas the coryza is blunt means the uh, the water which flows from our nose is very blunt which is completely opposite of allium sepa in allium sepa the lacrimation is blunt whereas the coryza is acrid means the coryza is very offensive whereas lacrimation is completely blunt in allium sepa so we discuss what is acrid lacrimation and the blunt coryza next topic is the next point which we write in our exam that is relation to heat and cold so what is relation chilly patient chilly means what chilly means cold is it they love cold or is it they love hot no because they are chilly patient so they once uh, hot means uh, but the aggravation occur when they comes towards the cold so those symptoms which are appear in the cold season that's leads to the uh, catarrhal inflammation so they are mostly affected by the cold season okay next our top uh, next our point is the diastasis diastasis means diastasis means susceptible to any disease susceptible means what means uh, affination prone to or affination it is very much affination to cold means in presence of cold the patient feels very uncomfortable that 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 is why the diathesis here is cold then the major symptom are the guiding symptom first of all the guiding symptom is the uh, infection of the mucous membrane of eye and urinary tract infection it also affects the headache the headache is catarrhal type of headache that is a very profuse type of headache and secondly we got the catarrhal inflammation of eye and also nose that is we also discussed previously acrid lacrimation and blunt coryza which is com- completely opposite of allium sepa then next comes to our throat section what is the uh, section what is the symptom when we find in the throat then we de- give our euphrasia so this this is when the throat is wet means it, the symptom look like or it is feel like <laughs> that is the uh, wet cough violently that makes our uh, most prominent medicine that is euphrasia but in case of a brown ear it is reverse means those who have a dry cough we used to give brownia okay and the cough which is commonly occur in the day time but that ferum ferum um, and natrium muriaticum they having the cough in day time but they having some difference what is the difference that is ferum Uh, they uh, the cough day time will be ameliorated when they uh, sleep or lie down in the bed but natrium mood having some different that is they are salt loving person hot patient with salt loving person that's why they cough in day time uh, if we find that salt loving or a hot person then we use natrium as a medicine then 
uh, our with ex uh, and they having uh, the cough is so violent so that they having a excessive lacrimation occurs from their eye next we go towards the female reproductive system in our female reproductive system there occur amenorrhea that is there is very scanty flow of blood that means menses is very painful regular and it only lasts for one hour or one day we can reach barietta when the uh, bleeding exits uh, from one day or more than uh, uh, one hour then we should use barietta then modalities first modalities that is aggravation so these patient those patient who are belongs to the euphrasia they aggravated by the exposure of wind means they are chilly patient so they not they cannot stay by cold that is wind they may be spring wind or south wind and in the evening there will be so much aggravation means so much lacrimation with uh, um, with throat that is coughing violently that's why the aggravation is com commonly occur at the evening time then last our note Mainly, it this medicine also indicated for the first stage of measles. Means, if the measles just started there and the eruptions are just slow, then we can use ephrasia medicine. Third cell, we what we discuss? First, we discuss the common name. First point in in your exam, how you write the ephrasia? First, you write the common name, then family, then prove why it is named as ephrasia. Common name as eyebrow. Then what is the sphere of action? Then what is the pathogenesis? then relation to the hot and cold what is the diathesis means the what is the uh, uh, successively which type of a disease they are susceptibility having more then guiding symptom lastly our modalities and the notes in this way you write in your exam and uh, secure a good mark thank you have a nice day